Hey there everyone, Jack here and welcome to Simulation Protocol 03 Entropy Ah, that's right, um, if you don't know what this series is um, This is a series of CTM maps that stand for Complete the Monument There's a sequence of areas in a customly created map by a creator, in this case Ticker HD Thank you Ticker for creating these maps there's also other creators, but we're playing Tigros maps today. And in these maps, your goal is to obtain what they're called objective blocks and place them at their respective monument. You gotta complete the monument with the mm, matching blocks. And mm, in this channel, we have played Simulation Protocol 01 Animosity, Mission Protocol 02 Overload, and now it's time for the cherry on top of the cake. Mission Protocol 03 Entropy. Animosity means danger or harm or something along those lines. Overload means spam, spam of danger. And entropy means um, basically a society that is doomed to fall. So. Yeah, I know that this map is inspired on Dark Souls and, well, Tikoro was highly inspired by those video games and uh, I know a couple of things, but yeah, let's just get right into the map entering the world for the first time and oh, <laughs> you gotta know that to play this map you have to have um, the Optifine installed, it's 1.12 so there's cooldown you gotta have Optifine installed because as you can see there's a custom resource map um, like incorporated in the in the Optifine I don't know how you make this because I, I, I don't have any resource packs um, you know, loaded it's like included with the Optifine and I don't know how they do it but as you can see there's a custom sky and well 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 you can see these part these particles and that the blocks are somewhat greener so yeah this this map looks even more customized than the other maps and oh I'm so excited so mm, we're like in a church and we cannot go in either of those directions there might be I don't know oh there's the auto jump come on man auto jump off brother well what does this auto jump bullshit mean over here no 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 here auto jump nine I don't think there's gonna be any secrets here I just don't think there's gonna be any and alrighty, welcome to Smushon Protocol 03 Entropy, 15 objective city and map made by Tikro HD, play Minecraft 1.12, please read everything before beginning to play, rules and information, charge creeper spawning behind, nope, okay, map info, oh it's in the chat, that's pretty cool, instead of a book, it's like in, in the chat, Map info, read before proceeding, rules, important, standard CTM rules, do not play on peaceful difficulty, use easy or higher, hard mode, there we go, always on hard boys, do not use any mods, glitches or commands that can give you unfair advantages, mm -mm -mm, none of that, don't worry Tikro, do not leave boundaries of the map, do not create or use nether portals, do not craft or move ender chests, do not breed villagers, you cannot use crafted wool for the monument. Okay, that's pretty standard. Recommended video settings. Render distance 15 to 25. Um, okay, so we'll go 18. Let's see if Minecraft doesn't collapse. Um, brightness plus 20 to 70. You don't recommend to have more than that. Let's see, I will always play on, play on bright. 
But if Tikoro recommends it, I always play on Bright. But if Tikoro recommends it, um, no, plus 20 to plus 70. So I guess that, oh, no, 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 no. If Tikoro recommends it, I'll go on 70. It's less comfortable for me, especially when I have to place torches. But hey, hey, Tikoro says so. Clouds off, it's already off. Optifine details fog off, custom sky on, custom colors on. Let details off, sky on, fog off. Mm, okay. Uh, all other settings are up to your preference. Okay. Now let's go for about Optifine and resource packs. Render distance. No. Here. Uh, ah, okay. I <laughs> I forgot to scroll down. Uh, custom uh, uh, custom resource pack. This map uses a custom resource pack to get the intended experience. Do not disable or change the resource pack bundled with the map. You can check if it's working further in this spawn area. Running Optifine is very strongly recommended for this map. The custom resource pack makes use of a lot of the finer levels of texture control that it provides. You will get a gimped experience without Optifine. Um, just play with Optifine. Okay, because you only have to open your inventory to <laughs> to see that mm, there's some special things that this re custom resource pack includes, such as these iconic slots in your inventory. Hmm? I wonder what those do. And there was one last rule about trinkets. Oh, speaking of the devil, trinkets. Trinkets are unique items you will find throughout the map. They give you special potent effects when placed in trinket slots. Trinket slots are the two top left slots of your inventory that have a custom texture. So, um, I'm going to explain what I know about the map. I have, um, before uh, starting to record Simulation Protocol 01 and starting this channel, I started this channel with those series in mind. I cannot punch any wood. Minecraft, there's there's no wood around. This is not a normal Minecraft world. Um, so I started playing this map when it came out, right when it came out, and I played during the first wall and during the beginning of the second wall. And I was so amazed during the beginning of the second wall that I was like, mm, okay. Um, if I'm planning to record in the future, I want to record this map without no, without spoiling myself about the map. Unlike Simulation Protocol 2, Simulation Protocol 1 was a blind, but Simulation, Pro Simulation Protocol 2 was not. And and that's it. I left there. I I left the world. I think it's deleted even. And <laughs> and and here I am now. Um, that's why I knew about the trinkets and this stuff. And um, I want to mention the following too. Um, my brother has watched uh, uh, the game, a gameplay of this map. He has told me that it's the best map he's ever seen. It's like his favorite. Um, in his opinion, it's the best map of of, of all that, that 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 he's ever seen. Uh, in terms of city and maps, mm, not not the whole maps because there might be maps that are super I don't know that that have some niche command blocks and this stuff, whatever. Um, and he has told me one thing, just one thing. It's not a spoiler; it's a tip. He has told me that um, there's going to be a time in which I'm going to have to choose to go to the left or to the right. There's going to be two paths. And he has told me, I recommend you to go to the right path uh, first before going to the path to the left. Mm, he has told me that mm, for the for, for the series and for the recording. So thank you, brother. That counter, Yaman, yeah, activate it. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And <laughs> I'm gonna stop boring you. Let, let's keep going. Um, I love the decoration of this. Like, you compare this to Simulation Protocol 2 and you're like, my man, my man, by the way, the texture of the of the magma block 
is slightly changed. It doesn't look like nether rock anymore. It's like hot rock. You see? The texture is changed. Pretty cool. I think that the texture overall of the of all the blocks are changed a little bit so that they are a bit darker. Resource pack check. Resource pack, resource pack. Oh, they're the same. This map utilizes a custom resource pack for special items and such. Do you see red and white squares instead of sponge above the chest? Yes. That means the resource pack is working correctly. In single player, the resource pack works automatically as soon as you boot up the map. In multiplayer, you will have to install it server side by changing the server properties file or every player will have to take the resource blah, 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 blah. we are not playing in multiplayer optifine is recommended for the best effect as it allows for more noticeable changes in the ambience <laughs> i'm so excited <laughs> i'm so excited for this one last adventure uh check if texture pack is working correctly and begin your last journey Alright, so it begins boys, I hope you um, you enjoy the series, I hope you also enjoy the, the intro, I had to spoil a bit my, myself uh, to create the intro, but you know, it is what it is, I think the intro is epic, so now let's get Did you read and understand all of the rules and the information? Press again if yes, yes. Is the resource pack working correctly? Press again if yes. Yes. 3, 2, 1. Oh, there's advancements. Wanderer's Root. There's custom. Ad oh. So cool. And we spawn here. Almost at the shore of this island. As you can see, the sky is kind of dark. And the old sea cold and barren <laughs> so epic okay so we have nothing and i don't want to die let's try not to die we're playing on hard mode but i don't see any mobs over here i don't know if i want to sprint yet we've got nothing finding a mob here would not be that fair can you get sticks from this or not still seeds? Wait, this might be useful. Seeds? They're spawners and I don't have anything. I guess I should... There's an island over there. There's an island over there. And the one thing I really need is wood to have at least a pickaxe and a sword to defend myself against the mobs and destroy the spawners so i don't know am i going to find mobs over that island because if that's the case mm, <laughs> if that's the case um i'm either blind again I think that in the previous maps we have, I have proved to, I don't know, um, not make a good use of my, of my vision uh, capacity. <laughs> Either that or there's a bit of a design problem because, I don't know, it'd be nice to, you know, in order to face spawners there, there's a spider. There, there's a spider. Uh, there, there's mobs. I don't think I, I'm supposed to go there. Because I have been TP'd near that shore. I think you're supposed to go to that shore. But, hmm. As I was saying... I kind of find this situation a bit... I don't know. We have two hands in this version. Okay, so as you can see, this is very different from previous maps. This is kind of an open world map, instead of like... Um, 
very narrow paths I can see motion portable too there were these intersections that could be a little I don't know if the words anticlimactic the old sea golden bird but mm, I don't know at least not realistic right but this is supposed to be like a world like a universe and although it's not realistic at all because you know because this world is gonna be too epic for it to <laughs> seem realistic maybe there's like some um my food bar is not lowering there's like a cabin there there's spawners there creepers but my man spider spawner okay there's some wood here okay 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 okay, okay. um this map is well designed Jaga. don't question it don't question it this map is great this map is gonna be awesome don't question it okay so they give you just enough wood or a certain pickaxe and crafting table, huh? Just enough. Okay. I'm gonna take this with me. And we're gonna carefully get rid of the creepers. My food bar. I don't trust those slabs. There could have been a spawner there. Okay. So. There's silver fish somewhere. First city and map. I'm playing with the cooldown. Five hits for a creeper without criticals. Five hits without criticals. That's good to know. No, this is gonna be dangerous. I could have died there, but okay. Where's this spawner at? Maybe they come from these holes? There's gravel here, maybe there's a secret. Aha! Uh -huh. I see. Look at the uh, look at the at the number of experience. It's it's orange colored. Um, I'm not losing any food. That that's not scrotons, is it? Husks. Don't wanna get hit by this dude. Restless. It looks like we're gonna have to eat some some of this rotten flesh. The dude gave me four rotten flesh? I think they have like increased. What's this spawner? Silverfish? Where is the silverfish at? I, I don't see it. So I think that those zombies give you a lot of a lot of rotten flesh because you gotta eat the rotten flesh. At least in the beginning. Okay, but I I don't know. I think that this is gonna be a mistake and I shouldn't be breaking the spawners but I'm securing the area no zombies are spawn I mean no mobs are spawning whoa I don't wanna get hit okay no zombies are spawning on the surface whoa. Note blocks. This looks kind of a trap to me. Looks like a trap to me. Alright. Um I still have no armor and no torches. Maybe we should try to go for the caves to find tor to find coal. That does make sense. Before entering here. Maybe we should go to some caves below. 
there, there was a spider spawner over there. Let's see if there was loot. Mm. You know, down, down the coast or something. You're gonna love this map. While well, creating the um, the intro, I exposed myself of a couple of things, just a couple, just enough, you know. And I don't know, or what I've seen, it's pretty, pretty, pretty damn awesome. I don't see any spawner. I saw particles. Got hit there. Okay, so the particles, they were over here. Let's go! Let's go! I did it right! 100% accuracy so far. Okay, there's gravel. If there's a spawner, there must be like something, right? I don't know, is there like a shipwreck or something? Oh, there's a cave. There could be a chest. Secret chest. Oh, look at that. Two creepers. In the water. Um. Um. Oh, that would have been so good. Why didn't you explode, my dude? Okay, it's one shot. Okay, kind of a rough start, not gonna Whoa, I got scared by that. Oh shit, there's a spawner. No. I'm dead. If another one spawns, I'm done for. It's pretty dangerous to reach to try to reach the spawner. Um, I'm gonna gather some dirt blocks. That's why there were two creepers there. Ugh. We've been... We've been injured, guys. And to reason all of this with... To reason all of this, it's gonna require a lot of rotten flesh. And I don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Kind of a slow start. But I'm gonna tell you something which is true. The beginning of the CTM maps are the most fragile moments. Two creepers again. I don't know how to reach the spawner safely without torches. Let's see if it explodes. Amazing. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Holy shit. And that creeper scared me. Although I knew there was another creeper. That was almost certain death. I could have been more patient, but that creeper explosion did a lot of work. There could be another creeper spawner. And I don't like that idea one bit. Look at that, there's three creepers. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Okay, we took some hit. Ugh. But... It did a good job. If it explodes, I don't mind. Explode. Okay, I'm risking a lot. Spawner is hidden again. What if I pass from the spawner? What if I ignore? What could this happen, dude? There could be a secret anywhere. There's another spawner there. Now, this is very ballsy. If there's a skeleton spawner, I might be in trouble, but I've got blocks. Nothing behind. I'm 
net. We got a flurry to break the spawner. Uh, okay. That was probably the most tense part of the episode because okay this would have wouldn't have been so hard if we had had torches to begin with that could have been a trap but there's no more spawners um i think that for this map i'll get i'll try to get used to another dui scale I don't like it. I'm used to the. Um, ooh, there's stuff over here. I'm used to the. Um, I'm gonna pause the game. I'm used to the. Um, to the outer one. And. Yeah, I. I'll try to get used to it because there's gonna be a lot of flavor text with, with, with the loot. And, and that's the thing. Okay, so. Is this enchanted? Yeah. The rusted belt is enchanted, but as you can see, it's not enchanted, super mega enchanted of magical enchantment enchantment, like in regular Minecraft. But the enchantment animation is like, I don't know, a slight, I don't know. Um, rusted best doesn't have much duration, Protection protection 1, surprisingly enough, it still offers some protection. Five armor. Hmm. But it's worn out. And here's the skull of the dude who died. Or divers remains. The sea is as dead as it looks. Oh fate, have mercy on poor fools who try to find something on this barren bo on, on its barren bottom. Mm, does it do anything? Doesn't look like it. I know, I guess I'll keep it. Okay, so we have some armor, but most importantly, we have access to coal. I'm gonna pick up all this coal, but of course, we need the coal. It's not an option to not pick up this coal. We need the coal. So, I'm gonna pick it up. I don't know, there might be like little time lapse. I may have to craft another wooden pickaxe, we'll see. So yeah, little time lapse and let's pick up all of this coal. Alright guys, so I'm done picking up the coal and I have realized a couple of things. When, when I was, you know, silently mining some coal. And those are... I didn't pick up wood. Okay. And those are that... Changing the GUI scale was a bad idea. Because... Oh, that's like the knife thing for when you change slots? Wait, wait when... When have I changed this? Attack indicate... When have I changed this? I don't remember. When did I touch it? Okay, well, first of all, let's try to get out of this cavern alive. Alive? No, alive. Uh, okay. We're out. Okay, I think we should be safe. So, the, um, the GUI is, uh, scale idea is a bad idea. I think there could be a secret here. That bottom is pretty deep let's see if there's something nothing nothing okay <laughs> I crafted those tortoise holy shit that that was a uh, how do you call those in English um, <laughs> <laughs> My boy is this one now. I crafted those torches in extremis. <laughs> that was not very comfortable, Zega. Um, so yeah, the GUI scale is bad. 
because when managing the inventory mm, my main sensitivity is too high for the for the for the size of the of the inventory and I don't manage it correctly. Basically I'm not used to this. So yeah, I'll come back to that. And the second thing is that mm, because YouTube adds some kind of darkness filter when you upload when you upload uh, videos on YouTube. Um, the the brightness at 70% might be bad a bad idea because of that because of YouTube so this first episode is gonna be with this brightness and if it's true that on YouTube it's hard to see mm, then I'll change it for the next episode okay so now yeah, we have coal, but we don't have wood, still. But 36 torches should be enough. That's true. But, I'm in need of a new sword and a new pickaxe. So, yeah, I think we're gonna have to spend this wood and we have this left. Mm don't like the idea at all but mm, we need this we need to do this so yep let's go to this tower let's equip this armor and this is me or I'm kind of slow I don't know I think it's just me because I'm used to play on speed 2 with my in my survival world hello is anyone uh, home? Wait, I cannot sprint. No, th there's no fob when sprinting. That's it. When you sprint, the fob doesn't increase. And that's why I feel like I'm going slow because the fob is the same as when, when, when you're walking so there was nothing here let's check out if there's any traps there's none and here was a pickaxe some blocks which are very much appreciated some coal one cobblestone I wonder if there's stone to pick up. I I haven't checked that out. There's a mini chest there. Hmm. And there's a fall. I would go first to the top. Hello. There's there's no one home. Okay. I think that because there's no one. It means that no one spawns. Hmm. You can see... You can see the... Um, not the bottom, dude. Whatever, you know. The thingy. English... Tension. Okay. <laughs> I was scared because I pressed one of these. And I proceeded to press both of them. Just in case. Just in case... I, di I didn't <laughs> I didn't trample on the trap. Um, come on, there's not gonna be a trap here. Mushrooms too. These are super good. Okay, there's a husk probably on top. Hello. There's a spawner. Not scared at all. Wait, these husks. Okay, can you climb up here? It doesn't look like they can. Alright, it's time for you to die then. Boom. There's a regular zombie somewhere. 
spawn reinforcements. It looks like it. Because if there was a zombie spawner, more zombies would have spawned, you know? Not a trap. Okay, not a trap. Whoa! Custom item. That's why the the GY thing was no dynamic lights. No normal large monocular. A cheap instrument used to inspect faraway objects. No need for expensive tools here, where one's main concern is survival. Oh, does this have any use? Is this like the small lens? Like instrument protocol rule two. And we got the compass. Compass. Invaluable tool for travelers, especially at sea. Red arrow always points to the north. Interesting. Alright, so we take this. Um Do you know if you can pick up coal blocks with the uh, with the uh, with the wooden pickaxe? I think you can. If this doesn't work, well. Okay, yeah, 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 it works. Anything beneath? Nope. Alright, so this is everything. Yes. Okay, let's get down. I heard the spider. Ooh, there's a couple there. We can have a bow, but we don't have... Oh, there's a chest. Okay, you see the trap. Bread, shield, stick stone axe. Yo, this is a mega weapon. Super useful. Super, super useful. Okay. The spider fell down. I'm going super slow. <laughs> I'm going super, super slow. I tried to close the trap door, but <clears throat> I, in reality, I didn't want to do so. And what's down here? Watch out! No, nothing. Oops. Okay, there's yes something. <gasps> brick, tank, and brick. Okay, this is why you need the axe. Ah, to one shot these fuckers. Uh, a silverfish spawned, but where is it? Oh, I don't like this. I played this zone like four years ago. This door is locked. This door is locked, but can I mine it? No, I can't. <laughs> now I regret doing so. No! It's anti-cheat proof. So, yeah, <laughs> you cannot cheat this door. So I need a key to open the door. It looks like I'm going super slow, but it's not the case, actually. This chest is very suspicious. This chest is very suspicious. Although it's not a trap chest, it still looks very suspicious. Some bread, hunger cure. Ooh, interesting. Like rocks. Bread, more rotten flesh. Hmm, and some hay bales here. Okay, not gonna pick them up yet. And what's here? So far, pretty peaceful. Mm, fuck me. <laughs> so far, pretty peaceful, Silverfish. Silverfish be like, bruh, am I peaceful to you? There we go. We one shot the dude. It looks like I'm going slow, but it's not the case. I'm sprinting. Okay. 
Ooh. A ship. Nani. Whoa. Come here. Come here, boy. This is actually super good. Ultra epic. Epic item. Dude, I swear, I it seems like I'm going so slow. There's a creeper spawner? Okay. See, with torches, this is much safer. Did the spawner trigger? It looked like it triggered and it scared me a lot. Okay. I don't know if I need to light this place, but... Okay. A flashbacks from The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Enter chest. Ooh. When you find new areas, you'll be able to warp them to, to warp to them here. Oh, it's a functional ship bug. It's a true ship. Old Seas Lagoon. The region is ruined and crumbled beyond belief, awaiting only the inevitable reduction to dust. Why would anyone care to visit this cold ashes? I don't know. I spawned like n next here. <laughs> So yeah, the the name of entropy subs, serves well its purpose. There's an island there. Or here's a map. And where are we? I don't know where we are, but we know where the north is. I suppose that F3 is considered cheating, by the way. Uh, this. F3 is kind of considered sitting or something. Where are we? I guess that if we have a look at the at the at the shape of the island, we will know. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. This is a, a true adventure. It's more adventurous than Insumation Protocol 2. We're like you know, there's world building. There's freaking world building that so cool allow me to take my time guys because because <laughs> I mean if you don't take your time I hate the fob thing truly I hate it it's, it's as if I was slow so I think that we are in this island here I'm gonna I'm gonna do this to refresh the chat so that you can we you, you can see the cursor on the map all right so i think we're here because of the shape of the island you see there's like a, a lagoon in the middle of the island and this looks like it to me we can confirm that by Locating a little island next to it. Let's see. Old sea. Dude, this is really cool. Phantom Hourglass, dude. This island might be that one. It could be, yeah. And if we see this narrow thingy, we will confirm that we are in the island I have been pointing out. I think, I think we are here. Now, where is the north? The north is there. Which makes sense, makes sense. So, that island over there is not in the map. That island is not in the map. Um, I'm gonna do this. And let's have some more food, the hot bar. I don't have enough wood to craft uh, a boat. Okay. And let's go there to to get the wood. And I don't know. I've been recording for 15 minutes. I know I've been farming coal. And the introduction of the map was kind of long. So this is going to be late. This episode is going to be like 1 hour and 10 minutes or something. Let's play some more for the first episode. Ah, 
And if you're wondering, yes, those are not cobwebs. I checked it out when I was creating the intro. I was like, is this resource pack or this is cobweb? And no, no, it was resource pack. Because if that had been cobweb, holy moly, the work, <laughs> the work it requires. And it doesn't seem like it moves. There's a skeleton, there's a... It looks like that at that island... Um, there's no natural spawns, but here... Yes. Stone axe, very important. It can come in very clutch. I don't want to abuse the shield. Because then I'll lose it. Don't want to lose the shield because the skeletons are pretty deadly they're always deadly especially at the beginning the creeper spawned and the creeper spawned get rid of the spawner we can deal with this zombie with the calm Let's light the spawner is somewhere. This might be true cobblestone. Should be neat. I don't want to go for the crit because in case I miss the 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 hit, I'll probably die. If I don't protect myself with the shield, that is, you're invulnerable to creepers with the shield. <laughs> I just realized that. With a shield, creepers are no more a trouble. Okay. I thought there was a skeleton around, but... But nay. There's a skeleton over there. I can go there and tank. Okay. S zombie spawned. Let's break the spawner. Great, we took a hit there. Rip armor, but whatever. I'm not committing all of my torches because maybe I want to save them, you know? Hello. Oh shit, I'm half dead. Yeah, the problem is that the zombie spawned there. But let's go there. Let's lead up the spawners. Zombie spawner. Doesn't look like there's a... There's a skeleton spawner. Okay. You're the next. So, is this cobblestone? Is this true cobblestone? Because if it is... Oh man, it's not true cobblestone. I got debated, boys. It. That's kaka tikaro. You don't do that to Jagger. Oh man, there's no cobblestone. -y. But there's a trap underneath this chest. Mm. One of these days, there's gonna be a trap underneath one of those chests. I know. There has to be. <laughs> Alright. So, um, I'm gonna cut here because I'm gonna yoink all of this wood without using any axe. So, see you in a bit. Oh, wait. The, there is... Huh. Ah! Okay, the, the, the uh, skeleton spawned. I guess I should have <laughs> lit up. I, I, I should have lit up the area. No problem, we'll do the skeleton. What? That was kind of weird. There is cobblestone. Let's go. Let's go. We've got some cobblestone. Yeah. Alright, so I'll continue. I'll continue chopping down this tree with my fists. Alright people, so I'm almost done here, gathering 
all of the wood. Mm, looks like this tree had some strong roots. Mm? Didn't expect there to be uh, wood underneath, you know, the dirt. Like, like if they were roots. So we have a lot of wood now, which is mm, what we needed uh, besides armor. Um, and I think I can safely commit this. Oh yes, the good boats, nice, nice. I, I thought that, that the improved uh, boats were from 1.13, the quarter update, but no. Yes, I'm so glad. I'm so glad these boats are so much better because they don't stupidly break. All right, so we can leave that island behind. See ya, island that doesn't appear in the maps. And we can come back here. And... We're back. It'd be nice to know the name of the island. I guess that if, if these are gonna be lands forgotten by the gods, I don't think they have names now because I know... Uh, everything looks deserted, you know? Uh, a kingdom or... or or who knows, maybe a republic, maybe, maybe there were super mod modern here. They leave some of the stuff over here. Boom, boom, like that, like that. Ooh, the cobblestone, pretty important. Can leave that. There's a bunch of junk here, but, you know, this is just temporary. Because... We have a narrow... Because... There's one place left where I want to go. And that is that cave up there. I wonder if there's a secret. Nope, no secret. Hmm, I'm surprised. Because Tikoro was very fond of secrets. There were lots of secrets that I didn't find in Simulation Protocol 2. And out of curiosity, I I explored in, in creative mode when I when I finished the map, obviously. When I finished it, do not take advantage of the of the cheats. I had a look at it after beating it. I think it's fair. I mean, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Is this another coal mine with more creepers? But now I have a shield. Get fucked. <laughs> I still don't know where the spawner is. So a dagger. Ah. I got scarred by a silverfish. I mean, silverfishes sound a bit like creepers, like like creeper fuses. So <laughs> I think <laughs> I think it was fair enough. Aha! Uh -huh. I see you're a man of culture, Mister Creeper, but you'll never take me alive. And I've located the spawner, this gravel. Uh. Uh. You never take me alive. Wow. Now that's the most pathetic death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have played Simulation Protocol One, Simulation Protocol Two, and this has been so far the most pathetic death of all. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Jaga! Great way to start the map, dude. Seriously, uh, I got a bit carried away there. <laughs> it was not my intention to die in the first episode, nor in the last episode of this series. I guess I kind of deserved it. <laughs> I got a bit overconfident there. My armor... My armor was really bad. And, well, that insta-kill was the proof of it. Now I want my pickaxe to destroy the spawner. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. Listen, 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 listen. You might be upset, but I'm more upset than you. Believe you me, I'm more upset than you are about me. Trust. I'm super upset right now. I feel... I feel stupid. I guess uh, I'm kind of used 
to being stupid. But still, feeling stupid is not great. So, yeah. Uh, apologies. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, one of the reasons why I thought that committing into the boat was not crazy is because, if I'm not mistaken, this boat is used for only fast travel, but not for travel, or maybe yes, maybe I don't recall this correctly, and maybe I'm, uh, I have a little surprise. So there's that island, but over there there's like a thick island it appears, right? It appears there's a thick island, I guess I can up the render distance. Wasn't 24 the recommended? I'll go for 22. Oh ho! Oh ho ho! Aha! <laughs> now yes! Now yes! Alright, where's that? Oops. Hmm. I mean, I mean, what's in there? There are some torches, but... Mm, there might be cobblestone. Hmm, if I get enough cobblestone, I'll get... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be able to craft some cobblestone armor. Hmm. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Anyways, we're here. I'm gonna leave these and... This wood, yeah. That, that's a lot of wood, actually. There's a thick pickaxe that I'm actually gonna bring with me. Some blocks there. Of course, the dirt and seeds to plant. Some, you know, for bread. I might grind off camera one of these episodes. There's paper and... Oh, there was a boat here. <laughs> All right, so mm, travel, select the destination. Yeah, we are at the old sea, but we don't have any other destination. So we get to go by boat to that island over there. And hmm, there's a couple of islands that could be worth exploring. So let's go for them. And before going to that island, we're gonna access to the ship for the fast travel. Okay. Uh, axe. Let's go! Let's go incursion in the, in the island. There's some FPS jumps, but no problem. There might be spawners hidden. There's a zombie spawner. Spawner. And there's... Okay, I was afraid of... It being uh, them being uh, cave spiders. I don't think the spawners lit up completely. Whippa! Let's break you. And what's below us? I thought the zombie had diamond armor. There's another spawner there. No, no, I just didn't lit up the spawner correctly. Professional city and player. I hate the fact that that it looks like I'm going slowly. And also the 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 crit the the critical hit. Oh, I have no sword. The critical hit sound has it been erased? You know, with the resource pack because it looks like it. If I critical? Okay, no, never mind. Let's go! Oh! Iron ingot? Oh, I thought it was an iron ingot! Not gunpowder. Come on, man. Come on, man. You don't just bet me like that, bruh. You don't just bet me like that, man. No, man. Not cool, man. Alrighty. So, there's some coal. There's some coal. There's a chest. It's a trap. It's not a trap. Mm, efficiency. Ooh, ah. Armor. Let's go. And efficiency. Mm, efficiency. It's pretty useful. Early on on the map, in the map, it's pretty useful for breaking spawners quickly. Efficiency to one sword. Pretty handy. I'd say it's pretty handy. All right. So there's this tree and there's this zombie. I'm gonna pass. I'll ignore the zombie. There's no stone. Shame. Shame. There's no stone. 
Um, anyways, I'll farm off camera that wood. Now let's go for that other secondary island. It looks like it's a couple of islands and Enderman. This can be really OP and whoa, there's a thick mountain and oh, there's the nano zombie. Nano zombie hasn't noticed us because we are a ninja. Hey, hey, let's go, Kinkasuru. Hey, Tatsuma Mono, protect my balls. Uh, uh, uh. Precision. And we'll lead you up. We deal with you. I wanna try to get an Ender Pearl because that's gonna be real OP. Oh, there were there were spiders. Hello, don't mind me. Uh. And you die it. Good. Being that is good thing. Weird bit. And boom, boom. There's a spider. Boom. Rolled. The axes are so OP. I didn't think of that. Axes like are pretty good. Okay. Let's do this. And this just in case. We're gonna have a good look at you. With your handsome face. Mm, it reminds me of the face of someone. And OP, boys! OP! We got an Ender Pearl. That's perfect. Perfect. Alright, so there's another tree over here. Geralt, over here. And I don't remember if I got rid of the spawner. Nope. Alright. This island should be kind of secure. It's not completely lit up, but you know, when I grind all of these resources of camera, I'm not gonna have any problems. Although I have a shield, I'm, I'm not gonna fully commit and yet not be stupid be stupid enough to die I was blocking there yeah I gotta get used to the timing of the shield because my shield was up but you know there's a canny skeleton pretty tanky tanky bitch tanky motherfucker I have lit up both spawners and I'm off I have lit up both sp both spawners and yeah there's some cobblestone over there Perfect to craft more axes. And maybe. Whoa! No, don't break my boat! Oh, there's a. Th that's like a thick wall or a thick island. It's gonna be a thick wall. That's the world border. Alright. I am gonna perfectly manage. Even if there's creepers, I have a shield. What could go wrong? I don't know. Mm. I couldn't be so stupid so as to die from a soul and only creeper. The only way I could die would be from being overconfident and no, that's never gonna happen. It has never happened and never will again. Why did I say again if I have stated that it has never happened, right? No, no. Deaths, Jagger 01. Uh, what do you mean by that? I don't see no deaths, Jagger 01. One. Don't know what you mean. Alright, so we're here and this bastion looks potent. Looks 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 thick. Thick bastion. So we're here and we have enabled the the the, um, the fast travel, hopefully. There's no chest, but we boom! The northern watchtower. We can TP. Um Did someone knock at my no was that the sound of the travel? What the? What, wait, wait, what? Did, 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 did the game play a sound? Because it, I think it played the sound and I thought someone knocked at my door and I was like, wait, no, there's no one home. What? <laughs> I got scared IRL there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Simulation Protocol Zero 3 Entropy 
and in the next episode we'll go to the old watchtower no northern watchtower and yeah hopefully in the next episode i don't i won't miserably die from a creeper uh i'm not very proud of that anyways i hope i made your day a little bit better see ya and have a good one